Well, good morning and welcome to day six of Becoming a Praying Parent. This morning's prompt was to use Jeremiah 32, 9 as a springboard into your prayer time with your kids. And when I first read it, I thought maybe I'd made a mistake. I don't remember actually picking that passage as a prompt in the calendar. Um, but knowing God's word and knowing that anything can speak and is alive, I reread it again and read the context and realized, oh, that's the sermon that Orville had spoken into a few weeks on a Sunday morning. He had been talking about how Jeremiah purchased a field. God had told him to do this in the midst of King Nebuchadnezzar and Babylonians coming in and conquering the territory. It was and was about to be devastated and looked like an unwise investment. But because God had told him to do it and revealed to him that God's heart and plan was to bring his children back to that area and bless them in the future. And as I read that, it made me think about how can I be investing in my kids' future now? God, what are your plans for them that I know nothing about that may even look like an unwise investment at this moment? And I started thinking about that. And as I was continuing to read um, verse 37, 38, I started reading as a blessing over my own kids. God says that he will be their God and they will be his people of Jeremiah's kids. And I started reading it as a blessing over my own and I want to do it for yours. Um, God says, um, your kids will be my people and I will be their God. I will give them singleness of heart so that Trent, Jade and Gavin will always fear me for their own good and the good of their children after them. I will make an everlasting covenant with them. I will never stop doing good to your kids, Kelly. I will inspire them to fear me so that they will never turn away from me. I will rejoice in doing them good and will assuredly plant them in this land with all my heart and soul. What hope that gave for me and found myself praying, God, would I also rejoice in doing good for them? Would I invest in them? And how are you calling me to invest in them now financially, relationally with my time and talents? So would that inspire you today as you sit and pray for your kids? Or maybe you're jogging and praying wherever you worked that into your day to create this habit of becoming a praying parent. So I will see you tomorrow.